great way to extend the capabilities of the AI agent is to use AI tasks. And you can find this through the AI hub. And then at the very bottom, you will see AI tasks. Whenever a user becomes inactive, we can send follow-up messages. But let's make it a little bit more intuitive that we can send a follow-up message by analyzing the chat conversation so far and then sending an AI task to create that follow-up message. So let's create an AI task. Let's call this follow-up message. And what we could say here, task prompt, will be something in the lines of So let's go with the following. Create an engaging follow-up message with the user who became inactive. Analyze the current chat history and determine where the user left the conversation and create the follow-up message based on that. We're not going to go with any output fields. Uh, it's not really needed. You can add them as well. Uh, but for this specific AI task, it's uh, not really a must. We can change the model, but let's just go with GPT-40 mini, since this is just a task that just requires a conversational reply, then we can do so really, really easily. The only thing that I want to change inside the prompt itself is to create an engaging follow-up, create a conversational engaging follow-up message. Uh, because otherwise we might get and receive a certain uh, email type of follow-up message, which we don't need because we want to follow up by chat. So let's save this. Let's go towards the flow builder. Let's go towards the AI agent. And as you can see, we have set continue after 10 minutes of user inactivity. Once that happens, we can go with this step, go with an action, then go with add items, AI actions, and go with an AI task. Inside, we can go with the follow-up message, and the input would then be AI messages, as that is a new system field that collects the information between the AI agent and the user. Let's select this and we can now also provide a test value. So let me grab a test value from our previous conversations and see what kind of reply that we get. So I just grabbed a sample data. So let's go with this one and then let's see what we get. So let's say test request. As you can see, hey John, I hope you're doing well. I noticed we were in the middle of setting up a call for this week and I just need your last name and email address to get everything booked. So what this means is inside this sample payload, we got up to the point of capturing the user's uh, first name, but we the user basically became inactive with giving their last name and email address. So what this follow-up message now does is it dynamically analyzes the chat history between the user and the assistant or the AI agent, and then creates an engaging follow-up message to continue the conversation exactly where they left off. So we can insert this and save this as a response. So let's just grab any kind of custom field that you might like. Let's press add, let's save this, and then we can send it as a text message or a question note, whatever you prefer. If you say a question note, right? Then we could also loop it back towards the appointment booking agent. If you set this flow as the default reply under the automations tab, then you could go with a text input. But let's go with a question note. And let's go with a text from here. We could give the custom field that we just used to save the follow-up message. And then soon as the user replies, we can loop it back towards the AI agent. And this way we create a nice follow-up engagement message for whenever the user 
becomes inactive. Now, once the user finished the appointment booking, what you could also do is to apply a tag in the last workflow where you create the appointment booking itself. And then before going with the follow-up message, you could, for example, put in a condition that checks whether or not the user has this specific tag. So we can then add, for example, if we added the tag appointment booked, let's save this. And if the user does have the tag, no need for a follow-up, but if the user does not have this tag, we can create the follow-up message and then send it towards the user. And this way you can create really engaging follow-up messages based on the chat history that we currently have between the AI agent and the user and basically pick up where the user left the conversation.